What we have seen in the movie is scripted, but we can relate to it because the scenes are almost real life because we can experience the same things. We have experienced problems in the family. We have experienced problems with our health. We do get sick. And we also have experienced something that Dante has himself experienced. He was actually fearing the ultimate end. A lot of us are asking the question. Sometimes we don't even want the question to, to be heard. We don't want to face our reality that on earth we have limited time. We all will face our death. And yet all of these problems should not be carried on our shoulders alone. We have to remember that when Jesus came, He gave a promise. He said, Come to me, all you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This is a promise that He has given to us because He would like to assist us. He wants to be with us, and He would like us to give our lives to Him in total surrender. Because sometimes when we look at our lives, the mistakes that we have committed, sometimes we feel lost. Sometimes we feel that the mistakes that we have committed cannot be undone. Sometimes we're willing to give up. A promise given to us by Jesus is also a promise that will give us hope. He said, I came that you may have life and that you will have it in abundance. When we look at the life of Dante, he was looking at himself and he was evaluating the effects of his sins. He was looking at the circumstances that he has led himself into. And yet, despite the fact that at first he was thinking all is lost, he understood through the Word of God, through the help of other people, he realized that there is still hope in Jesus. There is an opportunity to change, to recover, and to experience victory. If you have seen yourself in the same situation as Dante has seen himself in, you can actually commit yourself, commit your life to Jesus and accept Him as your personal Lord and Savior. You can surrender to Him your sins. You can, you can cast your burdens on Him. And it can all happen. You can all start it with a simple prayer of acceptance to Christ, accepting Him in your heart and making Him your Lord and your Savior. If it is indeed your desire to have Jesus come into your life, I would like to lead you in a prayer of acceptance. The prayer of acceptance is a decision. It's a decision that you have to make today. Commit yourself to Jesus Christ and receive Him in your life, in your heart. Make the sincerest effort to talk to Him as I lead you in prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we know that as we have committed a lot of sins, sins that have offended you, sins that have offended our neighbors, we know that the inevitable will happen, the consequence and the punishment of sin is death. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for your love. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your concern that because of your care and because of your grace, you did not leave us alone. You did not give up on us, but as you have seen us, you had mercy on mankind. And you have given us an opportunity to have our second chance. You have sent your Son, Jesus Christ, on earth. You have allowed him to experience death on the cross so that through the shedding of his blood, we will have the cleansings from our sins and that we will have the opportunity to stand in front of you and to claim you as our own, to be our Lord, the master of our lives, the one in whose will we will be submitting to, and you will be our Savior. We will be depending on you. We will holding firm on you and your words that as you have promised that you will take us into your fold and you will take us into your kingdom in heaven and be part of your family, we are given hope that indeed 
despite the fact that we are undeserving, you have embraced us with your love, you have cleansed us with your blood, and you have given us life eternal through your promise, through your death, and through your resurrection. We would like to claim it in our own personal lives. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.